side can become cyborgs and become uncommunicable from the point of view of their older parents or, or the, the young mother who adds the grain of sugar to the baby's brain makes it a, an artilect in effect, an artilect in human disguise, that, that, those kinds of arguments. And that's just the beginning. I'm just scratching the surface of the, of, of all of the kinds of things that, that could happen. So, so this development will profoundly disrupt humanity, humanness. And so the, the Terrans will be just terrified of this. Fearful, vengeful, bitter, angry, and they will go on a political campaign. I, I believe the Terrans will eventually go on the biggest witch hunt humanity has ever known. They will just, they will argue when push really comes to shove, they will plan to exterminate the cosmos. And the cosmos will say, oh, we're not going to tolerate that. I mean, you're going to threaten to kill me or I'll kill you right back. Okay. So they will plan for a counterattack. When, when the Terrans first strike. This, you know, now, now, this is just one scenario. Right? There, there, you may ask, well, can, can a major conflict be avoided? I mean, are there strategies that we, we, humanity could use and plan so, so, you know, so it doesn't happen? It's this terrible conflict killing not just millions of people, but in the worst war that we've ever seen, killing billions of people with late... 21st century technologies. Right? If, if you draw a graph, number of people killed in major wars over the last two centuries or so, and this axis time, you know, in years, then Napoleonic Wars, early 19th century, I don't know, one day's battle, I don't know, 70, I think, Battle of Waterloo, famous battle, something like 70,000 got killed. That was the scale of the killing in those days. And then you go to, uh, let's say, American Civil War, about roughly about half a million killed. Uh, in China at the same time was the Taiping Rebellion, about 20 million, but that's China, right? Huge population. First World War, about roughly 20 million killed. But the technology in the First World War were quite different from, say, the American Civil War. I mean, First World War technology, yep. Machine guns, right? shells, gas. Right? That was the technology, the scale of the killing. You know, technology dependent in First World War. Second World War, bombers. Right? Nuclear bomb. So depending on how you define Second World War, like for the Chinese, it started with the Jap invasion in 37. For the Europeans, it started when Hitler invaded Poland, 39. For the Americans, it started in 41, when the Japs bombed Pearl Harbor. Right? So depending on how you define World War II, uh, 50 to 100 million people killed. Why so, ma why, you know, why so many more compared to earlier wars? Well, basically, technology. Right? The scale of the industrialized killing just, just grew. Uh, because the, the weapons were just so much more powerful. So if you extrapolate the, up that trend to late 21st century, if there is a major war over this issue of species dominance, with the passion level n never being so high, where the state is just, you know, the survival of us as a species over the whole planet, then you, you can predict it's not millions dying, it's billions. It's, it's what I call giga. You know, giga just means billion. So it'd be, it'd be giga death. So it's such a horrible scenario, but that I'm glad I'm a 